All right. Also, I didn't realize this, and when I saw this, I was like, what the fuck? Anyway, the Beatles have a new single in the charts 61 years after it was recorded. There's this super cute photo of Paul McCartney and Ringo. Um, the Beatles have made a fresh appearance in the British charts. Despite disbanding in 1970, their timeless appeal and the release of remastered versions of their hit albums have kept them in the charts over the years. <laughs> their first single to chart in the UK was Love Me Do from 1962, which peaked at number 12 that October. The following April, From Me to You gave the band their first number one sing at the top for seven weeks. In total, the Beatles have had 18 number one singles in the UK, with the most recent being uh, last year's Now and Then, featuring uh, restored John Lennon's vocals from the 70s, alongside new recordings from Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. The chart success of Now and Then, uh, re released as the final Beatles song, set a new record for the longest gap between an act's first and last number one. Um, there were uh, 60 years and six months between April 1963 from uh, or released from Me to You and November 2023 of Now and Then. This week sees another new entry for the band in the charts. Their single From Us to You, uh, one, December 1963, has reached 91 in this week's official uh, physical singles chart. Uh, compiled by the official charts company, these charts count sales of CDs, vinyls, and other physical formats. Uh, Reports to Liverpool Echo. So. So what? I'm very confused because that is a new story. And I've been and I've been reading about this as something that came out in, in October of 24. Like the end of October is when I saw the news for this for this song. But the song was actually Maybe. released last November. It's probably just now picking up. I mean. Uh, now and Then continues to hold its place in the physical singles charts at 45 after spending just over a year there. The Beatles from Us to You, number two, March uh, 1964, also remains on the charts, having spent 12 weeks there in his position just below the band's new entry at number 92. So this song was actually um, produced using AI as well. So I'm reading that now. A new Beatles song will be released next week. This was from last year. Um, let's see here. Oof. Well, at least Paul and Ringo are alive. Maybe not. Is George alive? He's not. No, he's not. Yeah, I didn't think so. And we all know John's not. Yeah. I'm going to read this story because this is interesting. You tell me if you agree with this. This is a different angle I wasn't expecting from this. Okay. Um, this is from October of last year. A new Beatles song will be released next week featuring the voice of late member John Lennon and developed using artificial intelligence. Record company Universal Music Group said on Thursday. Called Now and Then, the song, billed as the last Beatles song, also features parts recorded by surviving members Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, as well as the late George Harrison. There it was, John's voice, crystal clear, McCartney said in a statement. It's quite emotional, and we all play on it. It's a genuine Beatles recording. In 2023, to still be working on Beatles music and about to re release a new song the public hasn't heard, I think it's an exciting thing. Now and Then dates back to the late 70s when Lennon recorded a home demo in New York City where he was murdered in 1980. The Beatles broke up in 1970, and Harrison died of cancer in 2001. That's what I thought. Now, years after his death, Lennon's widow, Yoko Ono, handed a set of recordings, including Now and Then, to the other Beatles, who added their own parts to it. But technological limitations meant Lennon's vocals and piano could not be separated to produce the, cl the clear mix required to finish the song. The idea to revive the tune followed Peter Jackson's 2021 documentary series, The Beatles Get Back, which had managed to isolate instruments and vocals using AI. The same technology was applied to Now and Then, which was then completed by McCartney and Starr, Universal said. It will release worldwide at 1400 Greenwich Mean Time on November 2nd. It was the closest we'll ever come to having him back in the room, so it was very emotional for all of us, Ringo said, referring to Lennon. It was like John was there, you know. It's far out. 
Um, so yeah, they had to use, so apparently the music and the vocals were there, but because of the puzzle pieces not aligning between old technology and new technology, um, they had to recreate the original recording that Yoko Ono had of John Lennon. I don't necessarily disagree with this. Yeah, and everybody's on board, which... You know, as long as everybody's on and, board. Who... And I will say that, like, if they just, like, if AI had his vocals and it played that. Yeah. Like, like that would be, like, a raw idea. You know what I mean? Like, you would be playing off of that. Like, that's organic. That's not mm -hmm. robot. You right. know what I mean? I mean, they're essentially pulling from something that already exists. They're just kind of tweaking it in a way, you know? Yeah. It's a little bit different than just creating the voice from scratch, which yeah. I mean they they even with the Randy Travis stuff that we talked about, they didn't recreate that from scratch either. They have a lot of samples of Randy singing and then they have somebody that's doing the parts as well that's you know still alive and being able to sing now. Um I forget that man's name. Maybe somebody can tell me, but yeah, new music from the Beatles apparently it's the last one too. So uh, they're calling it the last Beatles song. It's a good song. I, 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 I listened yeah. to it. It's pretty good. Um, I doubt it would be the last one, considering what they've just discovered. Yeah, I agree. And and honestly, and how much money it's probably making? Somebody's gonna have to find. Um, uh, they're gonna have to figure out how to police the AI within the artistic field, all artist, uh, all artistry, whether it's songs, film, whatever. Um, graphic graphic art is a big one right now. A lot of people are getting their shit stolen. Um, but yeah, 